Hi everyone, my name is Corinne Sexton and I'm a PhD student in the Department of Biology at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. And today my project is titled The Clustering of Human Micro C Data and Chromatin State Data Identifies Chromosome Confirmation Signatures and Cell Types. The basis of our project was um, really a project about integrating data types. Um, and so first I want to go through kind of the method of, of what we went through uh, to achieve this. So the main goal here was integrate different types of data in order to give us more information about gene regulation in the cell. Um, so the method we used to achieve this is we used a data type called micro C, which is very similar to high C, um, except for that it works at a finer resolution, a finer scale, where high C tends to be the lowest is around five kilobases is, is what you see um, in high C windows, micro C tends to be closer to the nucleosome level around 200 base pairs. So it's very high resolution data. Um, and the other type of data we used uh, is called a chromatin state label. Now these are um, created through hidden Markov models through a software called Chrome HMM. Uh, it takes into account chromatin mark chip seek and looks for patterns and then learns those patterns and researchers are able to go back and annotate those patterns as um, being uh, states such as enhancer or gene states. So in our project, we are synthesizing these two types of data together um, in a novel way. So uh, this figure here shows that the blue line is DNA and we have three regions, A, B, and C. They're labeled by chromatin state and then they also have interactions through micro C um, scoring, we can see that there's actual folding of the DNA here. So what we do is we take those regions and we're able to put them into a matrix that can be clustered in this way. So we take the base label for each region. So region A has a base label of gene, and then we look at what kind of contact it has with other regions. So in this case, region A has a contact score of 0.04 with enhancer B and 0.02 with enhancer C. So together, summed, that gives us a score of 0.06. And uh, the same process is applied to every region in the genome with the chromatin state label. And we get this resultant matrix of uh, micro C scores, uh, which are based on contact with other regions. This figure up here shows our main results from our project, which is uh, a k-means clustering of the matrix I just talked about. Um, and though this figure can be a lot to take in, I encourage you to pause and, and look more deeply at it. I will do a quick explanation here. The rows in this case are the clusters we got from k-means, and the columns here are the ratio of contact, basically an enrichment score for um, that chromatin state label contact. So if we were to look at um, this top row here, this cluster was enriched for contact in, in genic enhancer regions, which we see here in this label. Um, so one of the interesting clusters that we pulled out here would be these two bivalent contacting clusters, which have very high enrichment in bivalent um, contact. And another interesting pattern we see is that the enhancer um, contacting clusters split out into several subtypes. So for example, here we've got um, an enhancer A2 cluster, which clusters mostly with the enhancer A2 contacting labels uh, versus an enhancer A1 contacting cluster. Um, so in order to parse out the, the real functional enrichment of those clusters, we perform some chi-squared tests these tests, we use um, super enhancer databases, active enhancer databases from Phantom 5, and then we also looked at high expressed and low expressed genes in each of our four cell types of interest here, um, the endoderm, H1, HeLa, and HFF cells. And one interesting result we see here is that super enhancers particularly are expressed are enriched for enhancer contacting clusters, as you would expect for super enhancers, since they are defined as in clusters of enhancers. Um, and, and more so, we see that high expressed genes are found in this transcription start site with less enhancer cluster. Um, and, and there's several more patterns. I encourage you to take a look at, at these figures and and see um, what other interesting patterns you see here. And we hope to explore this further in the future. So thank you for listening to my talk.